What's up, guys? Happy uh, Wednesday. Me and Raquel, we are done. So we're not done. We're done working. We went out and did a uh, job today. And um, we're about to go do a consultation in Atlanta. Um, so anyway, I did a, um, I put up a post earlier. And uh, one of my Cleaners Connect members messaged me and said, well, Courtney, uh, he does wood floors as well. And he said, well, Courtney, when your um, clients, when they call you, what are you saying? Okay. Well, I told them, I said, well, it, I, first I have to listen to what their problem is or their issue. So I know what to say. So I don't really have a, um, a script because every situation is different. So I listen first. Okay. But this is the thing guys that a lot of us need to understand in business and customer service. Okay. When you are answering the phone or who, if someone else is answering your phone, what I hear a lot. And I've had two clients tell me this today. I had a client that messaged me, said that they, they're ready to move forward with their project because we felt like you was the most confident, okay, out of all the choices we had. The client that I did today, I actually got a little snippet of a video of her saying the same thing. She said, Courtney, I just love the way you talk on the phone, uh, how you explain things, your confidence. So guys, this is the thing <clears throat> that a lot of us need to understand. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. It's how you present it, okay? Because being in the home service industry for half my life, these are some of the things that I now hear, you know, and especially when you're going, cause see when you, see, when I first started my business, I, I did not serve or work for the type of clients that I work for now. The type of clients that I used to work for, it didn't too much care about your confidence, okay, uh, your presentation, all it really boiled down to is <laughs> a cheap price, if you was a, a cheap service, right, but when you are going at the quality clients, these are the things that they pick up on, these are the things that they pay attention to, again, do you sound confident in what you're saying, do you even sound like you know what you're doing. I cannot tell you how many times I've had clients tell me, <clears throat> Courtney, yeah, we had, we called another company. They didn't even sound like they knew what they was doing. <laughs> you know, um, your, your actually, um, communication skills. Do you speak with uh, proper English? All right. Um, if you don't see the thing, guys, again, what we have to understand in business, you have to be a match of what you're going after. So if you are going after quality clients, okay? Clients, again, the price is not their main objective. You have to match them. See what I'm saying? It's almost like, let's say you wanna go to a, uh, a five-star a five restaurant and you sit down, but then they bring you a hungry man meal <laughs> when it's time to eat. That, that you know, You're gonna look like, huh? This, this is not what I expected. You see what I'm saying? I expected a five-star quality meal. So as business owners, this is what we have to understand. So when you see certain things, you know, the way you present yourself, again, uniforms, wrap vans, uh, websites, a lot of people say these things don't care. I mean, a lot of people say these things don't matter. They're right. You know why it doesn't matter? Because the clients that they work for they don't care about those things anyway, all right? But for you guys, like the guy asked me, what are you saying? It's not what you say, it's how you say it. It's how you present it, all right? And when you, and see, this is the thing too. When you get to a point where if someone don't use your services, you can't care. A lot of people are gonna say, oh, you're arrogant, uh, you're boastful. Um, but guys, think about it. Think about this, Raquel. If a person calls your business and you have everything in order, you have website, you have reviews, you got good customer service skills, but they don't choose you because nine times out of 10, the price. Why would you care? Right. Well, I mean, think about it. why would you care? Because if you care, well, you would either lower your price or you would have a price that that they could, you know, afford. So 
you have to get to a point too just because everybody calls your phone and i you know one thing i used to i used to have that same mindset i used to try to book everybody to call my phone Every, i have realized that i'm not in business to work for everybody you know you're not in business so when you, so that's how you know your you have identified okay what your business represents so everybody that goes to your website everybody that calls your phone is not going to be your client you know so you're not supposed to care if they don't call you you know use you or not because the ones that that are going to use you they're going to use you and they're going to use you for what your business stand for so my thing guys is that um your confidence i heard that twice today um your communication skills all right and like i say do you even sound like someone that knows what they're doing you know with my service what i do with wood floors um these are not you know two hundred dollar jobs these are people who are spending thousands of dollars you know for me to come in and restore their floors most of these people again these people have to prep okay they have to hire furniture movers they're not just going to just call somebody and wait today someone tell them the cheapest price these people are doing research the client that we did today she said i looked at other companies the client that texted me today i looked at other companies these clients do research all right and they're going to hire the person that they feel like is the most experienced confident okay and has a great reputation and like i said if you can put all that into one all right and it's not going to happen overnight a lot of times a lot of us don't reach you know a certain level because we don't want to do what it takes we want that that instant gratification oh i want it now so this is why in the industry that i'm in with the cleaning industry this is why you have more at the bottom than at the top because see the ones at the top we understand what it takes this is not a you know uh, 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 this is not a race this is not you know trying to just do a bunch of jobs um we we understand it takes a certain strategy okay a certain business model all right um so that that's another thing to uh to to understand too guys so anyway i just wanted to share that with you you know again uh, cleaners connect member uh asked me you know what was i saying like i had like a script there <laughs> and i and, I, <laughs> and I, I do not have no scripts because it every person is different i talk to people different ways um i talk to people uh i give people different uh opinions or different answers depending on what they have going on so everybody doesn't get the same you know uh, um uh answer or the same uh community you know uh speech that I'm doing because this is not a scripted business. This is a business, you know, I'm a problem solver. So I have to see what the problem is first so I know what to say. But again, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. All right, guys, see you in the next one.